Hello guys, Martha Ehinome here. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back to watch this video. And if this is your first time here, I have a few videos up already that you can check out. And I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel, right? So let's get right into today's video. Today we're going to be talking about acting terms acting terminologies i think it's it's it shows some sort of um seriousness when you know the lingua of the the profession or in the line um, of what you want to do or what you want to go into so funny story so it happened at one point um when i was at an audition a few years ago we're at the audition right and then <laughs> we're waiting for our turn and then this guy comes and he's like asking, oh, what's a headshot? What's a headshot? And okay, I mean, he could not know what a headshot was. Maybe that was his first audition. No judgment, right? So they tell him, oh, a headshot, the, the picture you're supposed to have and things. And the guy was like, oh, God, they should stop using bogus words. That's what he said, bogus. Bogus. So they stop using bogus words and things that, because I've just said it's a picture and things. And I'm like, yeah you are literally the dumbest person in the room right now i mean i have a dictionary app i don't even have to go all the way to google just freaking go on your dictionary app or something and check simple so to avoid situations like that and just to be more knowledgeable about what you're entering into that's the essence of this video basically so let's get into it So the first term that we're going to be looking at is action. So action basically is what the director uses to indicate that um, the camera has started rolling. That means the camera has started shooting or that the action sequence that's supposed to take place, the scene, is about to start. Like when everyone is ready, um, camera sound and everyone is all ready, okay, the scene is about to unfold. So he says, action! And then you know to begin you know that okay performance has started so that's what action means so the second one is audition auditions are basically actors trying for a role it's sort of in this corporate world an audition is like an interview so you know how they do like um yeah exactly how they do like um all the music competitions idols and all the rest so that kind of situation you come you perform and they tell you, okay, thank you. So they have like um, score sheets and everything and judge your performance. So there are different kinds of auditions, right? So there are um, closed auditions and then there are open auditions. Open auditions are for everybody. So it's everybody, anybody come in and audition, right? So it's maybe they put a, uh, a notice on social media. They're like, okay, the audition for, let's say, King of Boys is on Sunday. They put the specific dates, they put the venue, they put the times, and then that's it. So a closed audition is more specific, so they reach out to you specifically. You get an email, or you get a call, or a text, or something. So they tell you to come audition, so it's not like for the general public. That's open and closed audition. Call can also you know, be interchanged with audition sometimes. So the third is beat. So a beat is a deliberate pause in dialogue or action. So a situation where I'm in this room, right, and maybe my boyfriend is on the other side of the room and we're mad at each other. Like there's this bit where we're all quiet and not saying anything to each other and just not looking at each other. Then there's another bit when we stare at each other and I yell at him. So the first bit is me being quiet and by myself and the next bit is me yelling, and like looking at him and yelling at him. They're like... Just little moments basically like little moments little pauses like sections like a comma in the scene like a comma if that makes sense so the next term is blocking blockings are specific movements orchestrated in a scene yeah orchestrated brighter grammar whatever <laughs> so um, basically a blocking is in the same scenario where you know I and my boyfriend are mad at each other right yeah so I'm supposed to be by myself upset and then I look at him and yell and maybe I throw something and then I go to the bed I lie down and I begin to cry so that's my blocking here 
throw, go to the bed, cry. So that's the blocking. So I'm supposed to do that. For screen, there are probably um, more takes than just one. So it's important. It helps the editors. It helps you to do it again, you know, just for safety and so you can have two performances that they can choose from. But, you know, you don't know what will happen. You don't know what the situation might be. So it's important to know your blockings. It helps the director. It helps everybody. Um, seamless, you know, everything, everything. The next one is booked or booking and that is something that every actor is excited to hear oh you booked the job oh i'm booked and busy it means that you got the job baby it means you've gotten the role that's what it means basically short and simple and sweet that was too much <laughs> so the next term is a callback so after your audition right you go home and get a callback so a callback is Kind of self-explanatory to be honest so a callback is when you go and then they call you back so it's either you come back for a second audition and then there's a whole process to you till um they finalize who they want hopefully it's you it could be one time that you have a call back and then there's a selection that's made sometimes it could be you know several and then it's on and on and on you know some projects they can be very thorough about auditioning and making sure they get the right people so you know yeah it happens that way so the next term is casting that's basically choosing right choosing who you want in the project choosing who plays what roles choosing what actors you're bringing on so you know after a movie is done and then you see the cast so yeah that's what it is cast casting so you're you audition get callbacks you get booked for roles blah 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 and then you know you're a cast <laughs> so the next term is closed reading it means that you will get material from the project that's about to be done so you could get like a scene to do so you can get it you can get it before you go to the audition venue or they would hand it over to you there and then you know maybe give you a few minutes and then you go in to read with a fellow actor or someone um, on the production team you know would read with you so basically that's what the reading is so it's like your acting is a fragment of what is in the upcoming project you know that's mostly um that mostly happens when you go for a callback because the first audition most times is like okay let's see if you can act so let's see if we fit the profile of the roles that you know we have available and everything so when you get to do readings is when okay they're already like when they're already in the selection process sure so the next term is q c u e q so this is like a prompt for an actor to begin or continue an action you know or performance or um, or sometimes the actor might even forget their line, you know, and they're prompted. So you're giving a cue, you're giving an idea. So it's like, oh, I'm saying my lines, I'm yelling probably at hypothetical boyfriend. <laughs> and in between, I forget the line and I'm like, and then I get reminded and it's like, okay, so continue. I get the prompt and then I continue. So I got a cue or I... Maybe it's time to go in for the scene, right? And then, because um, maybe it's far away, maybe it's uh, like a whole distance, and I can't particularly hear what is being said, someone on the crew side might just me maybe give me a hand wave or something. That is what it is. There are different scenarios or different situations in which it can be used, but basically, that is what it is. So a cut. So cut, yeah, is basically, you know, signifying that okay the performance is over and they can stop so i finish yelling i cry on the bed blah 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 end of the scene they say cut and then we go back to myself and whoever the actor is not boyfriend or girlfriend anymore action start cut we're done for now so the next term is demo reel can also um be interchanged with show reel so basically this is um a highlight of the actors previous performances of the previous things they've done on screen right so let's say i've done um i am matanga and i've done kilimanjaro right so um because i've done those projects and you know sometimes 
some people don't particularly do auditions or just so you can catch the eye of you know a casting director or a director or a producer whoever or you know just just something it's kind of like um an upgraded resume right <laughs> so your resume they see okay she did it she did that okay but this time it's like okay see what i see my performance so it's more convincing so that's what it is a highlight of the project that you've done your best moments the best things you've done just putting it together a few minutes and then putting it online sending it for castings just sending it to people to reach out to them you know to consider you for roles or however you want to use it basically that is what it is so the next term is improvisation so improvisation is where an actor spontaneously you know goes off the script off what is written on the script and you know just basically gives the same um, emotions, the same message that is passed in the script, but with their own words, not the words specifically written down by the writer. The next term is monologue. So a monologue is basically the opposite of a dialogue. So a dialogue is between two or more people. Dialogue. Monologue, mono, means one person. So it's um, it's a it's an extended speech given by an actor in a scene or you know a situation so I'm here and angry at the boyfriend I'm yelling I'm yelling for about a minute saying things just me my boyfriend at that moment is not saying anything so at that moment I have a monologue I'm saying you hurt me you did this, you did that, and I blah, 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 blah. You get the gist, right? So you can also be required to perform a monologue at an audition, right? So that's mostly, that mostly happens at the first stages of auditions. You give a monologue, you know, you go there and you perform. So instead of, say, um, on idols, you sing, and then they listen to you and be like, okay, thank you for coming. We've heard your singing voice. You did well. Thank you. Bye. Um, for acting, that's what you do. You go there and you act for a few minutes or a minute. You know, there are one minute monologues. It's okay, two minute monologues, and there are way longer monologues. So it depends. Most times for auditions, anyway, it's one minute monologues or at most two. You can also be required, yeah, because you know, auditions can be um, physical or virtual where you send in a tape. Um, you can also be required to do a monologue and send it as your audition tape. So you get it, dialogue, two or more people talking, monologue, one person logging. Don't leave me. So a pick up is the next term, pick up, pick up. It means that you are supposed to start um, acting um, from a place besides the very beginning. So in the instance where I am yelling at my boyfriend and I forget my line and I get a cue, so the act so in order to make it easy for basically just you know to call the whole action and everything um so the director says okay pick up so we're picking up from where we stopped right right we're learning new things aren't we <laughs> so the next term is props 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 are the items used by an actor in a scene so um for instance um okay so i have my notepad with me where i wrote down the terms so i have my props here this is one of the things I'm supposed to throw at my boyfriend. And I'm like, you hurt me. Throw, that's a prop at that moment in time. It's a prop. I'm using it for my acting scene. Or if I'm a witch and I have a wand, right? And I'm like, that's my prop in that scene at that moment. It's a prop. Prop. So the next term is script. So scripts are, um, the script is the blueprint of basically everything. Script writer writes the scripts, the edits and all of that, all of that, the final paperwork. The actor gets the script, reads the lines and everything. The director sees the whole action and everything. Basically, this, this print. I don't need to go on and on. We all know what scripts are. I hope. So sides. Sides are a portion of the script used for auditioning. So I go in for a closed audition or something and then I get the sides. So um, let's say it's Miranda and Michelle. So I'm Miranda, someone else is Michelle, right? So our sides, we get a side. Just a portion of the script, a side. The next term is self-tape. So a self-tape is basically you taping yourself at home. Yeah, so self-tape, you're taping yourself. So instead of um, going for the audition and maybe they're filming, you know, the audition performances so they can reference it later to make choices. Instead of that, 
or that um you're basically sitting down in your house using your phone or your camera like i am doing now and maybe instead of making this youtube video i am you know doing a monologue or reading sides yeah and everything so basically that's what it is self-taping myself the next term is a take take one take two take three so like I said about the whole blocking and knowing you're blocking and the fact that, you know, they might do the you might do the performance multiple times, you know, maybe for different angles or just so they can have different options. So the options are called the takes. So I yell at my boyfriend, I, I throw the scene the first time. Okay, take one. Okay, let's do it this time. Okay, tweak this a little bit or, you know, maybe I don't even need to tweak anything. Just say, okay, do it a second time, right? Just so we have two options. So I do a second take. So that's a second take. First take, second take. A wrap. So a wrap basically means that filming has ended. It might be filming has ended for that day or that filming has ended for the entire production. So let's say it's a five day shoot, right? So the first day we finish shooting, so let's say 10 p.m. We're done with the scenes scheduled to be shot that day. And we're like, oh, it's a wrap for the day. And everyone's like, yay, we're going home. So it's a wrap. So at the end of the production also, it's like, oh, a wrap. So it means like the entire shooting for that project has ended so your rap basically means the end of the shots or the end of the shooting for the day or for the general project the next term is headshots this supposedly bogus word that the darling brother at the audition i went to years ago you know had issues with so a headshot basically is a picture of yourself a professional picture of yourself you know from your shoulder up and um basically it's what um the producers or casting directors you know sees like okay this is her yeah so headshots are not supposed to have snapchat filters with them because there was a time i was interning with the production house and then they did an audition and we saw headshots it wasn't good it wasn't good so don't don't use selfies as headshots don't use selfies with filters as headshots Farm. you're not going to be I don't know applying for a banking job or you know as whatever it is and then you send them a selfie right acting is serious business another video acting is serious business and you should treat it as one you should treat it as importantly as you treat any other thing Farm. so the next term is age range so I know that I kind of was going alphabetically but then you know it shook <laughs> but um age range right so this is the age bracket that you can realistically emphasis on realistically play so as i am now let's say my realistic ages to play are 18 to 28 ish right so there's um somebody else a really smallish looking person who maybe is even 35 but you know somehow they can pass as an 18 year old so that is like their age range maybe 18 to 27 or their age actual age 35 you know so it's like what you can actually play actually realistically play so the next term is casting director they're basically your employers they decide you know whether or not you get the role they're like the demigods ish their job is basically to look for actors that are appropriate for the different roles that are available for the project so they decide your fate mostly so the next term is extra extra a little bit of extra so an extra is basically um a background actor right so they're like they're like the major cast so that like the principal people that are being um that have the roles right so for like king of boys is eniola salami and you know a few other people those are like the principal cast then there's like the supporting cast then maybe there's like another level and then there are the extras so the extras are just you know behind maybe they have a scene or two not really doing much or they might not even be seen at all so for instance the woman at the market the market scene a lot of actors acting as market women so it might just be their gilly or they might not even see them at all to be honest so those are extras they're just like extra people needed in the scene or on the projects to help with um the little roles so that's it congratulations you just had your first acting lesson with me at least 
Um, yeah, and if you're my friend or you know me or you're an actor already and just there to brush up on things, thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate you. Um, I am sure, absolutely sure that there are terms that I did not say or I did not mention or I did not touch on. Um, because I mean like I spent three hours and I'm sure that there will still be terms that I would forget to mention. So let me know um, some other things concerning acting that you like to know, some other things that you like me to talk about. Basically concerning acting, being an actor in Nigeria, being an actor generally, you know, you know, specific things, you know, that are peculiar to actors. Just let me know the kind of things you like to see, the kind of actor content you like to see, right? Um, I'm really excited about this. I'm so excited I'm finally doing this. Feels like I'm doing my work on my YouTube channel all over again. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments. You can go the extra mile and share with your friends and to those you think might need this video. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. It's very encouraging to see the numbers growing. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I'll see you next time. Hi, this thing is stressful. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs>